Welcome back to the Mercedes Source channel. We are the number one source on the internet to provide the viewer with some really unique DIY kits, manuals, and upgrades to keep your older Mercedes diesel running, running smoothly. And one of the things you're going to run into when you work on these old diesels, we're talking about, uh, you know, 70s up to the 90s, is the vacuum pump. This is critical in these engines. You need vacuum that produces vacuum for your door locks, your, um, you know, the shifting of the transmission, and then sometimes the climate control. And when the vacuum pump goes bad, you know, you're going to, a lot of stuff on the car is not going to work. I mean, you've, you've already learned that. Any of you have been around these old diesels, you know how critical vacuum is. And it's not produced by the engine, not in these diesels. It has to be produced by a pump that's mounted to the front of the engine. This is typical of, a, of the pumps that you see on the 1977 and 1979 uh, 240D, 300D, and so on. The, the 123 chassis, this is the two-line diaphragm style pump. In 1980, they went to a better design pump using a piston. But then we're looking right here at a 1979 300 SD. In 1978, they introduced these five-cylinder turbo diesels in the market, and they had one monster vacuum pump. Look at the drive mechanism in here. See that? It is not a pumping action. It's a rotary action. And the other thing is they have two diaphragms. Look at that. Two diaphragms and guess what you cannot get repair kits for these anymore they're not available so if you have a 78 or 79 300 sd and your vacuum pump fails <laughs> you're gonna have a little problem of course these we have we have kits for this style we have kits for the newer style including you know all the some of the special tools you'll need to get the the new parts into it that they're under spring tension so that's sometimes a problem but i'll tell you something recently because of the lack of having kits available um, I came up with uh, an alternative kit for this. So you have to do a little work on your own to modify some existing parts that are available in order to rebuild a 300 SD pump. So if you're interested in that, I've done a manual uh, that we supply with this kind of kit that, we, that I've put together. This is a really unique kit. And you will have to do some work to modify it to get it to work on your 300 SD pump. But if you have one of these pumps and you're frustrated that you can't find any repair parts available for it, be, be sure and check out my kit along with the free instructions just by following the link below in this video.